uh, we would not lose anything in terms of our access to to uh, European markets because apart from anything else, the German car industry alone would uh, have a 16 billion market put at risk. And Merkel, uh, any German politician, would not be able to allow that. So there's a very easy, not easy, but a very straightforward negotiation. Do you really think we would get all the advantages of the single market? For yeah. a, a, no, we, we would pay no price for that access? No, I think the, the only area where that won't work is on agriculture, where we'd have to have some particular deal. We'd have to subsidise uh, British farming in a, in, a, in a free market position. But other than that, it's pretty, it's pretty clear that the end game would be a free market arrangement. And no national government, Merkel, uh, Hollander, are going, are going to give up the interests of their major industries in order to promote yep. a European ideal. What normally happens is, if we have Brexit, there'll be three months of hysteria. Screaming and shouting, threats, you name it. And then they'd start to calm down and work out what the consequences of themselves are. The day after Brexit happens, the chief executives of Volkswagen, BMW, Audi... Uh, will you miss out Mercedes. And Mercedes, I know you've got one. The, uh, <laughs> you've got to know how to tease them. The, uh, and, and they'd all be queuing up saying, we, we've got to have access for our 16, million, all right. 16 billion but, but, market. What, what do you say to that? I think it's pie in the sky, frankly.